Afternoon all. We are getting ready to take the plywood off. And as you can see, my tarp held more water in, I think, than it kept off, but I don't think it got too terribly wet, so that should dry out pretty quick. What we're doing, this, before we take it apart, is I'm putting these little hash marks get my head out of the sun. And also putting numbers and letters for alignment. So after we get this apart and we have a pile of plywood, we know where everything goes. And then we all know how everything lines up. And I forgot to put some hash marks down the side here. So I'm going to go get the marker and do that. Then I'm going to start taking all the plywood off. And hopefully I have enough cabasil to at least get the Kielsen's glued into place. So on to that stuff now. So here's where we at. We at. Here is where we are at. That sounds a little better. We have the shear clamp and chine log glued and screwed into place, building the holes on the bow and the stern, and also we got the Kielsen screwed and glued into place. So now we can start working on the sides and the bottom. Uh, I'm still waiting for the rest of my thickener to show up. So for right now, we are going to do the sides, because I believe I have enough to do the sides. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put one side on in the middle. And then once I get the middle part on, I'm going to scab the back, the board on the back for the butt joint on both ends. And then I'll add the bow, bow and stern sections on so then I can screw them into that uh, the butt joint uh, backer board. And that's what we'll work on for now. Once I get the center sideboard on, I'll get back in and give you a little bit of an update. That's about it. Morning, everyone. I had to put the canopy up. It's been raining the last few days. <clears throat> Got a little bit of leak through in one spot, so I'll have to throw another tarp over the top of it or I'll have to tarp over the boat when I'm not working on it. But what I want to film real quick is I'm putting this side on. Other side's already done. I just wanted to show you what a butt block is for uh, lap joints. All it is is a scrap piece of plywood that will fit inside the opening here. And when I put it in, you epoxy it on the one side here so it lines up. Then you have the oversight, other side here overhanging that you'll then epoxy when you put the next piece on. And you run screws into it like that. So that's all I have for right now. I'm going to finish putting this together before it starts raining again. Out. Okay, quick update. We got both sides on now. I did not get my ship in a cabasil, but I went to one of the, what would you call it, marinas? Marina, place where boats are. There's a marina that has a full service shop about half hour north of me. And they have a little uh, store where you can buy some of your own Marine supplies, or like a baby uh, West Marine. So I went in there and picked up a can of West Systems Cabasil, Colloidal Silica, same difference. And yeah, that was $12 for a little can of it, and that was the equivalent of $6 of the stuff that I had picked up from a different supplier about an hour and a half away from here. So I guess you pay for convenience. So I had, I had just enough of my own stuff left the previous stuff to put this last piece on the front here so now I'm going to tap into the new stuff and hopefully I'll be able to get at least half the plywood on the bottom of the boat. What we are going to do now is I got this piece sitting in and let's walk around the other side we have this piece sitting back in the place hash marks lined up so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace a line down the side here and then right across the front there so I know where to put the thickened epoxy and not get it all out in places where I don't need it or miss putting it in places I do. So we're going to mark that 
Then I'm going to go downstairs and mix up another batch and we'll come out here and smear it on and screw this piece down. Yeah. Not much more excitement than that, so as I get pieces done, I'll show it to you. I may, uh, on the front piece that I get to, the last small piece like this in that front corner, I'll probably film part of that so at least you can see what exactly is going on. Later. One more quick note. You can see the frame numbers going across. I need to screw into those. Kind of hard to figure out where they are when you don't have marks on this side. So I'm going to mark both edges of the frame member on this side with the marker. And then I can lay a straight edge across to here and then draw the lines across so I know where to put the screws. Uh, that's the last update. Okay, we have the back half of the boat glued and screwed in place. Right now we are putting the butt blocks on the center seam of the boat. As you can see, got a thickened epoxy on one side, nothing on the other. Then it's going to get screwed in like these guys are right here. And that way we have a joint surface for the front half of the boat to join onto it. Uh, nothing too exciting watching me put screws in, so I'm going to go off camera and do that. Well, we are now done. We have about 10 pounds of screws put inside this thing. And all this all the joints have been epoxied so now comes the fun part of mixing up a fairing compound and filling in every single screw head when you go to lay the glass down if you have a little void like that you end up with a tiny little air pocket underneath the glass and you end up with a little soft spot which in the grand scheme of things isn't the end of the world because if it gets a little crack it's not like the boat's going to fall apart, but if it cracks through, then you get water inside, then you get water on the wood, which that is a bad thing. So we're going to go through and get all the seams fared up, fill in all these little spaces that were left where the wood didn't come together quite right because of the lining up of the shear clamp, I'm sorry, the chine log, and the plywood on the side wasn't exactly square. So get that all filled in and some places here, I don't know if you can see this, this slid out a little bit and I screwed it down. So I need to come back through and re-round that again with a sander. So today we'll just fill in all the holes and hopefully it'll set up well enough that I can sand it tomorrow night. Well, here's where we're at now. Uh, I haven't been filming a whole lot because this is about as boring as it gets. If you've ever mudded drywall, that's pretty much what we're doing. We're filling in all the little nicks and holes and seams with uh, thickened epoxy. Now, one tip I will give for the top side here, where you have gravity working in your favor, mix the mixture light on the cabasil, uh, uh, fairing compound mixture, whether you're using micro balloons or sill cell or whatever have, what have you. Uh, mix that a little bit more on that, but keep it a very, very runny, uh, even thinner than mayonnaise consistency because that way when you lay it out it runs right down inside the cracks instead of having to try to jam it in there. Now when you get to the sides here that won't work so well. This is where you have to mix it to a full peanut butter consistency so it will hang on the side of the boat so you'll be using a lot of cabasil for that. Uh, got this whole side done, got the whole top done, bow done, transom done, just got around to that side, ran out of the last cup I had mixed it is starting to get into the evening hours. I have yet to eat dinner, so we are calling it a night. Tomorrow, which is Tuesday, we should be able to finish filling the rest of the holes on this side. And little gaps in the seams along the top. Once we get that all done, I might go over the outside with light sanding again to get the little high dimples and stuff off like that. And any other spots that might have falling down low from the resin settling out and things like this will get filled back in a little bit more and then maybe by Wednesday or Thursday the latest we'll be laying glass. If I can get it laid by Thursday, sets up enough, Friday we'll spray her with a coat of paint and come the weekend we'll get her flipped over on the trailer and we can start working on the inside. So one way or another by the end of Labor Day, this thing's going to be on the trailer and inside build's going to be started. That's it for now.